It's Myth and Moonshine Night here at Skinny B. Johnson Stadium in International Speedway in Gristlejock, Georgia, where you can hear 13 minutes live version of Freebird five times a game, twice on the hour. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Grim Bay Attackers battle. The Yorks at Hazard. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yeah, man, she's going to hit him now. You know what <laughs> Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. The -50. odds that I get in Vegas. Get a point. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer calls. I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge! That's a crack your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico. Around the crack your pants. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. his way out of that pack. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, nah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And that'll be second down and four. <laughs> The defender says, I don't think so. Third and four. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I pictured that, uh, that, well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. Oh, mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Second down and seven. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere.
first and two. And the defense jumps outside trying to mutilate the... <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Wow, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. First down and one. So one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. Second down and two. Trying to fuck a green football, he gets away in a hurry. And oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. First and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. meets the explodable object. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. The 10. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. And I think he's warming down this guy to the speed thing, crap. He's running from his team. It's his clear. <laughs> They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Now the defense called a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the elevator with me earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team cheerleaders get on. <laughs> That's what Swamp Talk is really The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Second and three. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking. The defense holds that pass play to only two yards. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. First down and one. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path.
The offense lost their final quarterback. Lucky for them, they're on defense now or the game would be over. Uh, so all the other team has to do is punt the force of forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Lots of blood and guts spilled in this game. The Orcs of Hazard pulverize the opposition and win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Oh, 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 oh. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...